Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Happy hump day. I hope you're humping or getting over the hump or doing the hump the hump dance or something with the hump. It is now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so I, I could cry. We can actually talk about football football now yes we can talk about football because training camps are open throughout the nfl and i'm as happy as can be now i keep getting photo bomb what, what uh, you know I, I i gotta burn this that, that new york giant blanket right there i'm curious though speaking of the new york giants how saquon feels knowing that their left tackle just got a hundred and seventeen million dollars, and um, he got eleven. Hmm. Ten times. Ten times. I'm not saying that the left tackle ain't important. I'm not saying that at all. But he got ten times what Barkley had to literally say "f you" to get. Something wrong with the system right now, guys. There's something wrong with the system. Be that as it may, um, we'll have the Cowboys with practice. We're talking about practice, not 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 the game now, not the game that I love. We'll be talking about practice later on. The team, of course, won't be off the field till about four thirty, so we got a few hours to kill. But I have a little thing I want to put out there. Okay, this is some shit I'm throwing against the wall. Now, I'm not at the red brick house where I'm working on the plaster or I can throw the shit, but I'm going to throw some shit on the wall here. The Chargers, the Chargers, the L.A. Chargers, and I don't I almost slipped and said San Diego. And if you've ever been to San Diego and L.A., you think that they were idiots for leaving San Diego to go to L.A. The weather is so much nicer. The people are friendlier. You go to L.A., it's F you. Okay, it's like the concrete jungle. But be that as it may, I'm here to tell you that the Chargers have destroyed any aspirations of going to the Super Bowl. And I'm not saying that because they hired Kellen Moore, although that is a side effect. And we are right now for the first time in Dak Prescott's career, the very first time Dak Prescott doesn't have a Kellen Moore. Doesn't have Kellen Moore as the backup quarterback in front of him. Doesn't have Kevin Moore, Kellen Moore as a quarterback's coach. Doesn't have Kellen Moore as the offensive coordinator. Is this the dark cloud? Is this the skies parting? Is this a new day? Time will tell. But back to the Chargers, who have now destroyed any hopes or any dreams or any aspirations of winning a Super Bowl. And you're probably saying, what are you talking about, Mark? See, here, here's where it's funny. Here's where it's funny. I remember a few years back, the big talking point was if you pay a quarterback, once the quarterback gets off of the rookie contract, you got no chance in hell of winning the Super Bowl because you can't pay a quarterback that much money. Well, here it is. Justin Herbert is now the highest paid player in the NFL. Highest paid. $52.5 million a year. But it's funny because I haven't heard that saying when Deshaun Watson got a fully guaranteed $230 million. I didn't hear that. Did not hear that. I did not hear that with, you know, Lamar Jackson. When Lamar Jackson, who hasn't had playoff success, couldn't make it through the season two playoffs when he got his salary. I didn't hear that with Jalen Hurts. Now, Jalen Hurts, of course, went to the Super Bowl on his rookie contract. Now, he got paid. I did not hear that he can't, they cannot go to the Super Bowl now. Are you saying I'm, I'm crazy? Are you saying I'm making this up? No. This is another one of those Dakisms that only affect Dak Prescott. I ain't heard it no more. And I can guarantee you, Joe Burrow will get paid more than Justin Herbert. I know, I know, I know, I know what y'all are saying. I know exactly what you're saying. But Mark, Justin Herbert, 
that guy's a really good quarterback. He's great. Um, how many playoff games has Justin Herbert won? Rasheed? He hasn't won any playoff games. Mark. What do you mean? Wait, wait, but he's great. So He is. He is. What makes him great? He His statistics? Good. Yes. Oh. Mr. Analytic. Oh, okay. So, so wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. So he has no playoff success, but he's great because of the statistics. Is that what you're saying? I compared to Dak's first four or five years. Oh, but but Dak had Dak actually had playoff success because see, here's what's funny is against Aaron Rodgers, he threw three touchdown passes and 304 yards. Against Tom Brady in Tampa Bay, he threw for over 300 yards, four TDs, and rushed a touchdown. That's actually playoff success. He actually beat Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks in the playoffs, which is more than what Justin Herbert's done. I believe he even has a victory over the Chargers and Justin Herbert. So are we saying that Dak Prescott's statistics don't matter? Is that what we're saying? Are we saying that the 30 points last year per game don't count, but Justin Herbert's statistics do? This year it will, because remember, you got rid of the guy. Oh, what? 31 points, and guess where he's at? Oh. He's in L.A. now. Okay. Uh, All right. Okay. So, so wait a minute. Let me see if I got this right. You're miss those thirty-one. So you're saying Kellen Moore was the only reason why this offense? Okay. All right. But let me go back to actually. Here, here's here's a little taste of what we used to get when Dak Prescott got paid. Let, let's listen in here. If you're looking back going to 2012. Oh. Lots of numbers on the screen, but look at Matt Ryan in the lower left corner. Mm -hmm. He is the only one on the list to make the Super Bowl while accounting for more than 15% mm -hmm. of the team's total salary cap. And, of course, mm -hmm. this team did not win. Dak is currently accounting for 14.9% <laughs> of the Cowboys' total salary. He was 14.9% before they actually the franchise tag that he they adjusted it. I want to bring my football group back into this. It's a number you've probably heard before. No team has won the Super Bowl with their quarterback taking up or any player taking up more than 15 percent of their total wow. salary cap so dan orlovsky when you look at those analytics what do you think well i mean <laughs> gotta pay someone right like when are we going to decide like teams don't pay the quarterback well don't pay the receiver don't pay the running back don't pay the offensive lineman like there's a floor that the nfl has to spend greeny i used this saying i don't know a couple months ago don't pay good players great player money and that's where teams mm -hmm. get in their issues and it's really with the quarterback spot teams decide to play their pay their stars their star quarterback when they decide to pay him they're okay that pie is going to be fine because you know you have the best piece mm -hmm. available mm -hmm. the problem is when they pay the starting quarterback star quarterback money that's the issue that we're getting to all that when we're talking about Dak and the Cowboys or whatnot and so um you know like the, the issue with the Cowboys is they're they're talking they're talking out of both sides of their mouth oh you know, they're talking out of both sides that'd be you Dan that that'd be you Zeke last year and and you can't sit there and say we really want to pay Dak but only the amount of money we want to pay him so listen there's a couple star quarterbacks in the NFL mm -hmm. pay them and you'll be thankful that you do mm -hmm. don't make the mistake of paying your starting quarterback star quarterback money now Nick again I mean okay. sometimes you can make numbers say whatever we want them to say Yes, but you do. These are what they are. No quarterback has won the Super Bowl taking up that percentage of the salary cap. Does that mean nothing? <laughs> it means nothing. The numbers always are, but they can be bent. So a percentage of salary cap is not the best measure. You can front load a contract. You can back load a contract. It's better oh. to look at the average value of a contract because even Jared Goff's deal, it goes from being 10% of salary cap to 15 later in the deal. So I, I understand the point that you're making, and it is easier to build a team when you have a cheap quarterback, but it doesn't mean that you can't win with a quarterback. It just means it hasn't happened. There have been plenty of quarterbacks that have made it to the Final Four, a few have made it to the Super Bowl, who have accounted for up to so let, let me let me stop that right there for a second oh, you, you see that in the corner there right? no team since 2000 has won the super bowl with a quarterback in the top five of the nfl and cap hit so that only they only talk about that when dak prescott gets paid 
They don't talk about that when no when anybody else gets paid. And this is the same old bullshit that we always get. You know, it's funny because, you know, nobody batted an eye when Daniel Jones and, you know, re- regardless of what that guy right there says oh about Daniel Jones, he'd take him over Dak Prescott. Sorry, there are two different categories right there. Who was a better quarterback last year? Remember, you sat there and said... I'm sorry, did Daniel Jones and the Giants beat oh, Dak Prescott? God. Because it, apparently, apparently, quarterback wins matter unless it's Dak Prescott. Am I wrong? Because how many times has your great quarterback had a victory over the Dallas Cowboys? All right, okay. How many times? Okay. How many times? Rasheed, how many times? Daniel Jones has no wins over uh, Dak Prescott. Okay, there you go. Or the Cowboys. End of story. Or the End of story. Because (laughs) apparently that's the only thing that matters. Again, (laughs) this is just an exercise to show you that we now know the Chargers are not a threat to win the Super Bowl. Even with the genius, Kellen Moore. And we will find out. Because now, you got a great quarterback. You got a great offensive coordinator. You're right. They, they got Austin Eckler, dirt cheap. One of the best running backs, right? They got weapons. So there's no excuses then, right? Then the Chargers should be a Super Bowl team, correct? If they don't win at least, a, you know, make it to the AFC Championship, isn't it a failure then? It is a failure. Then it's a failure. But nobody will say that. Nobody will say that that the Bills season was a failure last year when they lost division around weekend the same weekend the Cowboys did. The only team that was a failure last year was the Dallas Cowboys. Am I correct? The only team that was a failure? That basically, if you, if, if you were an alien just dropped off here and you watched ESPN, you would look and say, that Dallas Cowboys team is the biggest failures ever because nobody else failed. Nobody else did. I think y'all and the Bills are in the same category. Because everybody picked the Yes, last you, year. and you know what, Rashid? I will give you credit because you actually are doing something different than what most people do. Most people would not put the Bills as a failure. They put, remember, Josh Allen on the cover of Madden. And he had some of the biggest turnovers last year. Long oh, the my. Uh, is, is this place beginning to affect you? <laughs> Are, are we getting truth serum in here? <laughs> Rashid, Rashid is actually talking. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So I've had my rant for the day. And Rashid, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. And no, I'm not forcing him to do that stuff. He's did, he, he said that of his own volition, right? No, because I would agree. A lot, a, lot of, a lot of the pundits, yeah. along with... But the Dallas Cowboys picked the Bills to be. I even picked the Bills to be in the Super Bowl. Yeah. To be honest, I did. Mm -hmm. So it was probably the biggest failure next to y'all. I would agree with that. And the turnover. We weren't picked to be a Super Bowl team and we lost the same weekend. So how are they picked as big a failure as we are? Y'all probably the same. I think because of the the points that they scored and the team that they played. All right. Uh, Okay. Okay. Be that as it may, I'll, I'll leave it there. But you know, I know y'all are looking at Rashid and trying to see if he's like it in the movie Get Out, where he's got that look like "Save me." Yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> he's getting there. All right, we'll have news later on um, about the uh, Cowboys after the first practice. Not, not, not the game. Not the game that we love. We talking about practice. And as always, let me have a little message for the Eagles. Fuck them birds. Fly, Eagles, fly. Now we shoot those birds out of the sky. Stupid dumbasses managed to give up a third and 30 to my sexy arm. Pathetic defense and team. No wonder I own those piece of shit frauds every damn year. Don't get me started on the fans. You boo me while I earned a respected award. Losing the Super Bowl was just karma for you fuckheads. I can't wait to drop 100 on your heads next season while being the daddy of the NFC East again.